So we're coming to the end of a really long weekend, and I know there's most many people that I know in Seattle. It's been an emotional weekend um, coming together around a march, and then there's m people that I know, family members and friends elsewhere that were celebrating this weekend. I'm sure it was also an emotional, um, exciting weekend, which was also felt here in Seattle. It was very exciting coming together under solidarity, and. Um, I just thought, I'm, I've been in the midst with this message that I created two weeks ago, wanted to get out to just a few people. I thought, um, I had an idea and I really wanted a lawn sign and I thought a few other people would too and I would try to do a fundraiser. And I wanna, this is so weird to be doing this because it's kind of weird, but I, um, I just have a lot of thoughts because I've been hearing from people all over the country and I'm honored that people felt the same that I did. But I really want to end this weekend um, sharing a little bit about why I did this and my thoughts because this sign and this message and these shirts that I'm making, um, I really didn't make them as a political statement. I really want this to be something that brings people together because that's what we need in our country regardless of what side of the fence you're on. So I just want to give a little bit of background. I don't know who, if anyone will be watching, but um, why, I made the sign and I, the words that I put on this, and I'll, I'll, I want people to know I've been asked over and over again if I designed the whole thing. I did not. I saw on Facebook a sign that it was white, um, that was in the snow, and I was trying to find it for a week or two, and I couldn't find it. And then I went to the art store and decided maybe I'd just draw one up. Um, but then the art store guy said, well, maybe you just go online and take that image. Um, so I went online and I found something that resonated with me, and then I decided to add a few more lines that really meant something to me. And that's what I wanted to share is this, I started out that these, the words on this sign, I hope they resonate differently with everyone, um, but it's not supposed to be a political sign. So I wanted to just share why it's important to me. Um, and hopefully it won't be seen as, Oh, the liberals believe in this. I really want this sign to blanket across the country as it seems like people are really interested in bringing it to their home. Um, but I wanted to start with first um, the Black Lives Matter, why that is at the top and for me belongs at the top. And I know people, and I've had it said to me in just this last week that all lives matter. And I 100% wholeheartedly agree that all lives matter, no matter who you are. We matter, but black lives matter because they've had a different path. They did not, they weren't born like I was born into this country that having, being white, and at my time being a white woman, I was a Title IX baby and I had opportunities that were afforded to me because of what my, who I was born into and also being born in the United States instead of another part of the world. Um, I went into the Peace Corps and I was wanting at the time to go to a place where I would be a minority. I wanted to understand what it felt like to be a minority. That was one of the reasons, really a high up reason to go into the Peace Corps. And I went to Africa, I went to Southern Africa, and I was a white person that had, the, the place I lived had never seen a white, they had never had a white person live with them. Um, and you would think I would be able to feel like what it felt like to be a minority, but I didn't because Again, my white skin afforded me privilege. I was special to them. People wanted to know me. They treated me very, very well. So I, I think Black Lives Matter is really important because they haven't been afforded the same opportunities. And in the Northwest, we haven't even, don't even really understand how deep racism runs because we didn't have slavery here. And the entrenched mindset of people, it still exists. And until we acknowledge that and try to empathize and understand Things won't change. So that's the top of the list. And then women rights or human rights. Um, I think that one's very clear. And I'm as fundraising, I am fundraising that, I'm fundraising to each organization locally um, that hits on each of these. So Black Lives Matter Seattle is going to benefit from the funds that are being raised by the sign. P Planned Parenthood is the, the organization that I chose because they provide access to care that's really important. And it was important in my life um, when I was young. Um, I went to Planned Parenthood because I did not have 
insurance to be able to afford going to a place where I needed insurance and I did not have enough money so I was able to go there and pay what I could and I received incredible care and this is where it does get political for some. I made a choice. I went at later after I had been going there before but I went and I did, I found out I was pregnant. Planned Parenthood did not offer abortions. They provided me with information about all ways to handle a pregnancy. Adoption, having a child, all of those ways. They did not perform an abortion. I made a choice for myself to go to a physician in the area that did. And that was my choice for myself, no one else. And I have to live with those consequences. In my own family, um, my sister also had a young pregnancy and she had a child and that child is an incredible adult, young man. And so in my family, there's two girls that had two different choices that we made. And my parents love both of us. And my parents are Republican, pretty strong, and they're Trump supporters. They still love their daughter and they don't kick me out of the, that's not the deciding factor of what is a good person or not. So I think um, for me, it's really important to continue providing health care, reproductive rights, and access to care. Um, women's rights are really important and cannot be decided by the government or by, by men. Um, the next is no human is illegal. And I really feel strongly about this one because um, I, you know, our country is a country that is built on immigrants. Um, and that needs to continue. There are incredible incredible people come here because of, we are a country full of opportunity and they have left and fled places oftentimes that are so unsafe and to come here and start something new have no family that takes courage and I don't know about you but I I've lived in a foreign place a third world place and I it's really difficult and I was so fortunate to know that I was going to get to go home to what was my comfort zone to my food to my people where they spoke my language and so immigrants, they make our country better. And they, our businesses have been built on immigrants. And to say that they now need to be dealt with or not allowed in this country is really difficult for me because I understand there are legal processes, ah, my battery, to becoming legal. But so many businesses, I've lived in Texas and in Arizona and all along the border, they. They believe, in, they built their businesses off of illegal immigrants and as did along all over the country, up here, the orchards. And we need to continue to make this a safe place for people to come to find opportunity and to live and to encourage them to bring their gifts to our country. We are so much better because of all that everyone brings to this country. So I'm supporting IRC Northwest. Um, and then science is real. That one I think, for me, isn't even a question. And so that was really important to put on this, this board. We are so lucky in this country to be, benefit in so many ways from science. Vaccines, we're all healthy. Um, oh my God, the list is way too long. Um, and we need to continue pursuing that. Our world is changing, climate change is real. And so we need to support the sciences and my cause that I am supporting is brain cancer research is being done here in Seattle by the Ivy Center for brain, Primary Brain Tumors. They're doing cutting edge research that saved my friend's life who was not supposed to live past five years, which she was really only given a year. Um, we need to support the sciences as much as we can. So the next is water is life. And water is life with Flint, Michigan that's happening, happened. Clearly that's an issue. We, and nationally, we had um, um, Standing Rock. But my experience with water is life is also from third world countries where I've traveled. And you see foreign aid going in there, building schools and giving and donating, but the people need water. And if they don't have water, they can't go to those beautiful schools. If they don't have water, they're sick. Their kids can't sit in those schools. And water is a, is a scarcity around the world. And we need to make sure there's clean drinking water nationally and internationally to make sure that everyone around the world has an opportunity, a good life. So I'm supporting um, Water First International, which is here in Seattle. Um, 
And then in religious freedom, that is something that I did add to the sign and it's really important. Um, I'm not religious. I believe that there must be some higher power, but I don't choose to call it anything. Um, so I guess I'm spiritual. Um, and I think it's important to allow everyone to have religious freedom. Depending on where you were born, you might have been born in Utah and you're a Mormon. You might have been born in West Africa and you, 99% of the country is Muslim. That is, if you're born and raised in a society, that is what you usually know. It's very hard to separate yourself from what everyone is doing. So to persecute people based on who they are, it is not okay. You, we have to be open, try to understand. You don't have to become who they are. You have to understand where they come from and why and listen. And most religions, I think all religions actually, have a good base of moral values and ethics and believe in community and faith and provide people with stability. So I really believe that's important. And here in Seattle, I've chosen to give to CARE um, Northwest, which is a council of something, um, Islamic relations. And I chose them because they need our support. Muslims, oh, they're incredible people who actually, I think have a lot better values than many. Um, and many people might say, well, they have plural, uh, polygamous marriages. That is often the tradition of their culture. It's not every Muslim believes that way, but if you were born into that, that is what you know. Our country is a really young country, and to say that we know how families should be, I'm not sure that's correct. So that's a whole nother, nother angle, but um, love is love. I don't think that one needs question. Um, I, I'm a heterosexual woman, and I never have had an interest in another woman. I played softball and a lot of my friends, I played softball through college, and a lot of friends and teammates and lesbians, incredible people, just like I think me. Um, they deserve the same equal rights as everyone in this country. It is not for you, anyone else to decide who someone should love. So, um, and I can't imagine trying, that is, I, I just can't imagine trying to fight against your own inner feelings to try to meet a societal norm. It's not okay. Like, we need to be ourselves. So I'm giving to the um, It Gets Better Project, which is a local, local project started by um, Dan Savage. So, um, and then there's two organizations that I'm giving to because I think they're really important. It's KUOW, our local affiliate for NPR. Um, they provide so much important cultural uh, human stories, uh, storytelling, but also local, national, international news that we need to keep hearing and we need to support them and support journalists. It's a really hard life. They don't make a lot of money, um, but they are providing our community and our country with information that we need clearly today. Um, and the last is One America, which was started by um, a new, our newest senator, um, Pramila Jayapal. And it was started after 9-11, and it was called, I think, No Hate Zone. Um, and it is doing incredible things here in Seattle and I think nationally. So you could look at all of these organizations, but this sign might mean different things to you. And regardless, I, I, someone came and had the brave, was really brave the other day at a fundraising. I was selling things out of my trunk at a car at a high school. And the last person that came was this young man. He must have been in his late 20s or early 30s. And Jonathan had moved here from uh, Virginia about three or four months ago to go to, to study counseling at a theological university program. And we were talking a lot about being here in Seattle and versus Virginia and what that's like, and then pol a little bit about politics. And it became clear to me that Jonathan, you know, was more conservative, and I really, we had great dialogue. And he bought a shirt. And then I was about to leave and I was trying to pack up my tr truck and I actually couldn't even get everything in it because I had way too much stuff and I was stuck. And I was stuck and it was about 8.30 and my husband was at work um, and it was Friday night. I called a friend and they couldn't come. And then all of a sudden Jonathan pulls back up in a rabbit in this car, a little car. And I thought, oh my gosh, Jonathan, I need a ride. And so, um, but I didn't say that to him. I didn't know why he came back. But um he came back and he asked me about the, the on the sign that said about brain cancer research and he asked what that was about and 
he was really curious and I asked if he had any interest in that area and he said yes he said but actually I came back because I'm really struggling I'm gonna get sad um, I'm struggling because because on that sign is Planned Parenthood and I really am struggling that my money might go to Planned Parenthood and my mother would be devastated if she knew that I was supporting something that was supporting Planned Parenthood and um, he remembered going to rallies with his mother in DC as a young child for pro-life. And so we talked about that and I shared my thoughts on it about access to care and um, choice. And what I most appreciated about Jonathan is that he came back and he shared his thoughts because here sometimes in Seattle, people just keep their thoughts to themselves if they feel like they're a little bit outside of the norm for our liberal you know, area. And how I let, I told Jonathan that he could let me know where he wanted his $22 to go because I do have bins set up for people to give to the things that they wanted. And he chose the brain cancer research and he did feel better about that, um, that that's where his money would go. So not everything on these signs are going to resonate with you. And I hope, I mean, we're Americans, we all believe in different things. So I can't imagine that you believe everything that I believe, but if there's five or six or seven things on the sign that you that believe in, then I hope you want to support causes. If we stay away because of one thing, if one thing becomes a divisive factor of not bringing people together, we are in trouble. And why this is really important to me, and I have all my friends, these are holiday cards behind me, and I will tell you that I know that not everyone on that, on this, my wall is, um, thinks like I do. I hope not. They're my friends and so I learn from them. I learn from what their life experiences are. I learn from their areas of knowledge. But most importantly, there's still people that call me their friend and um, I guess I'm gonna, my son just came down and it's gonna make me sad, but, um, <laughs> but um, I've most, like people assume that I'm like this because I was in the Peace Corps or because I went to college and I traveled a lot, I've traveled a lot. And I've thought a lot about that. Um, but I am like I am because of my parents. They raised me to get to know people and be open and try new things and dream. And like this thing that I'm doing is something my dad would just say, go for it. And my parents are hardcore conservatives. They are really excited about Trump being in, you know, in office. And we don't, can't really talk about it. But they're great people. You would want to be their neighbors. And that is what means the most to me is I do not want our country to be divided by this one man who is keeping us divided. So this sign to me represents um, just kindness. So the last line is kindness is everything. Don't assume that people who have different views than you are bad because they will teach you so much. And if we can get past our differences and try to understand that there always are differences. When we're young, we were told to be unique. And when we get older, we're kind of told we should conform. And if conformity happens, that's not so great. That's why our country is what, what it is. And my son's saying, we're gonna, I'm gonna finish up. But in the end, I just wanted to say this, I'm really overwhelmed with the enthusiasm and the excitement about the sign. And I really want it to blanket this country, not just on liberal people's lawn. This is about bringing our country together for me. And this is what my, I made the sign because it's what I believe. And if it's something that you might believe, then you can get in touch with, go through Tara Clark Photography Shop. And I am going to be making a better way to get it because there's people from all over the country that are trying to get in touch with me. And, um, get things for them and just know that I'm trying. I've cobbled it together in a really short amount of time, but that's it. Um, here there's also a hoodie and share, spread the love. If we just are nice and come off of this weekend, whether you were excited about the president or you were excited about solidarity and marching together in the different marches, say hi to the neighbor next to you or say hi to your colleague, even if they aren't, don't ha aren't like minded like you, it will go a lot further and we can come together and not be so divisive and we will continue to be a great great country so that's all for my thanks for i can't have not i'm this is a really long live but thanks for coming and watching and hey buddy come here spread the love and i love my parents i miss them they're great people they're trump lovers 
they're still really great people. So I know many, I'm sure many, many great Trump lovers, we can still get along and do great things. So that's all. Bye.